Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to make these delicious breakfast sandwiches. They are very nutritious and filling and all of them are vegetarian. It's really easy to make them, just follow the video and my instructions. For our first sandwich with eggs, we are gonna need to toast some bread. You can also panini press if you got the panini press. Then we are gonna have to prepare our avocado guac. Um, so I basically remove flesh from avocado, place it in a bowl and mash it with a fork. Season it to your taste. I prefer just salt and pepper but you can add some other spices if you'd like and the very important part is to squeeze some lemon. I do one quarter lemon for half an avocado. Just taste and see if you need more lemon than I do. Chop some chives and thinly slice some red onion. These two ingredients add so much flavor to your sandwich so just don't skip them. Yeah, I like my onions just that thin. And now let's cook the eggs. Heat your pan over low heat and add like a few tablespoons of olive oil and place your eggs there. Make sure you check on your eggs so they do not overcook. And now let's assemble the sandwich. We have all our ingredients prepared so it's really a straightforward thing. Just watch the video. Oh, this is so yummy and the eggs are so jiggly, just the best. Our second sandwich will be with cauliflower. It is also very filling and nutritious and makes a great breakfast, even though there are no eggs in it. Prepare your cauliflower florets and then slice them so they are about quarter inch thick, just like I do. So you get like little cauliflower sticks. Yep, just like that. Heat your pan over medium heat with uh, two tablespoons of olive oil and place your cauliflower there and salt it. Okay, while well, our cauliflower is cooking let's chop some parsley for garnish you can use your own and then uh, slice avocado with a spoon just like that and put it on your toast use some salt and pepper or some different spices but definitely add something on top of avocado because it's too plain and then cover it with some fresh spinach and don't forget about the cauliflower When ready, place it on top of the spinach and don't forget to grate some cheddar or any other cheese you like. And then garnish with parsley in the end and it's ready to be enjoyed. It was really yummy. Our third sandwich is also super delicious with mushrooms and kale. prepare the same guacamole as we did for our first sandwich. I'm not sure if you can hear my cat in the background. He's purring so loudly. He just stares me down begging for food. He's a professional beggar at this point, no doubt. Chop some kale now. I picked this kale from my garden. It's as fresh as it gets. Had to share it with caterpillars this year, so just a little bit left for us, really. And also slice a few mushrooms. Hit 
your pan with some olive oil over medium heat and place the kale and the mushrooms there but don't mix them in the pan. While the mushrooms and the kale are cooking, we can start assembling our sandwich. Spread the guacamole evenly and try to cover the edges. Next step will be to place kale on top of your guacamole. And then we're gonna add mushrooms on top of it, just like that. I garnish with some lemon thyme, but you can pick anything you'd like. It was just super delicious, trust me on this one.